Sometimes when we feel illness, we go to doctor, they diagnose us, they observe us, they may send us for x-ray scan, they will check report and write us medicines in a prescription. We go to the medical store and bring those medicines. But have we ever thought that how these medicines reach to us? So let's see that how scientists invent new medicines for a new disease and after invention through which process it reaches to us. Our human body is a miracle. But when any new disorder arises, with the help of science, we can find its solution. 14 years, that is how long it takes to develop a new drug. It is very laborious, time consuming and expensive process. Over 14 years, over 100 research projects will eventually lead to one drug on the market. In many illness, one or more protein in the body not working correctly. That is what scientists are trying to detect. They detect the protein which causing the illness. Then these proteins are target of development of new drug. But the problem is that our body contains thousands of protein. In order to define the treatment target, they compare the function of them in healthy cells and cancer cells. Once the target is established, scientists start to search the substance that overcome the illness. They use a substance from nature or synthesize chemically or design them using computer simulations. From Abu results, so many compounds are selected and tested for the target. If selected substance is not very pronounced, in that case, chemists try to manipulate the substance to make it more suitable for drug development to increase effectiveness, safety and reducing side effect as much as possible. In early stage, they do experiments on animals to detect that the substance is safe and effective enough to try in human being or not. Not only effectiveness but also method of administration which give the substance in right place in body that will contribute the optimal effect. After that investigational new drug application can be filed and after approval of that by health organizations one can start clinical trial. Until now drug was checked outside human bodies but in clinical trial it is checked on human bodies against real disease. These studies are first performed in three phases and take about six to seven years. Every phase has to confirm certain tests in research. Result of whole phases are compiled to a registration file called as new drug application which is assessed by health organization. After approval of that, production of drug product can be started. Now production workers start weighing off necessary components in hygienic conditions. They transfer these components to granulating machine. They add granulating solution called as binder. Then these wet granules are subjected to dry. Drying of granule lot in a dryer like fluidized bed dryer is taken place. Now dried granules are compressed to form tablets. In process quality control tests are performed like weight variation, hardness testing, friability test, dissolution test for release profile, disintegration test, etc. After approval of quality control department, tablets are coated if they are required. Then optimizely evaluated tablet batch transferred for packaging. They are packed in various packs like strip packing or plaster packing and dispatched to market. Thus, we can get medicines like tablets after this long cycle. 
so friend we can see the life cycle of the How drug come from the laboratory to the market so all process very time consuming costly and require coordination of the different fields it requires team spirit hard work and as well as following various regulatory requirements and lot more therefore let's salute the spirit of research work which help mankind for better life thank you